Hello, everybody. On a scale from one to this three, is Daily Bread with Deja. And you're listening to Cycles by Jonathan McReynolds. How do you want this album to be? Five. Five. So. <laughs> deep. We're going deep today. All right. Right. Today, I want to talk about loneliness in college. This is very important to me because this is something that I think that I have struggled with, a lot of people have struggled with, and it's not talked about a lot, but it's really important because people do get lonely in college. And they, there we go. And you know, it's bad for them sometimes. So, I'm just gonna go off the cuff here. Let's start with today's scripture. It's gonna be coming from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses. Six, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. I like that scripture because it talks about how God is not going to leave us, nor forsake us. And sometimes in college, it does feel, <laughs> it does feel that God has left you or he has forsaken you. Um, let's talk about expectations versus reality. So you go into college and you think that it's going to be like easy or you think you're going to work hard. I mean, me personally, I was an AP student and I felt that, you know, it all was just going to work out. I thought I was going to work hard. I thought I was going to do my best. And I thought that I was just going to land on my feet. And, you know, I, I really, my passion, I wanted to go to medical school. And it didn't necessarily work out. I mean, I tried to, I tried to do the best I can with studying. But my grades kind of went into, like, uh, they were kind of mediocre. You know, I kind of got C's and I had a few B's sprinkled out, but ultimately, I didn't feel like that was good enough to get into medical school, and so now I'm in nursing. So, I'm not going to say nursing is my passion, but I'm definitely trying to get into nursing school right now. But, in that, my expectation when coming to college is that, oh, it's going to be the best few years of, of your life, and you're going to really love it, and you're going to find your best friends. And, you know, you're going to, they always say you're going to form, uh, form friendships that, uh, will never leave you or that will last you for a lifetime. And my answer to that is yes and no. Yes and no, you will form relationships that last you for a lifetime. So, some people, some people are seasonal, okay? Like, some people you meet and, you know, they, they may last you for a semester. They'll, they're, they're buddies for a semester. You know, they're a good study buddy. You can call them. They might give you your number. But they're a semester friend. They're not going to last you all year long. Some friends I have met, I have, I have been friends with them all throughout college. Some people, you will meet in college like-minded people that, have that want to do some of the things that you want to do for instance one of like one of my friends i'm with now i met him on the very first not the very first day of college but like for the program i met him at a program before we got into college so that's one of my that's one of the friends that i've had all throughout college and that's been definitely a friend that's lasted me throughout the four years now you're going to meet some people who they seem like they're like-minded with you, but you just happen to have a falling out. And that happens. Like like I said, people are seasonal. 
some people you meet, they're going to be there for the long haul. Some people you meet, they're just going to be there for a short time. So you just, you just have to be careful. And the thing with friendships is that you have to be careful over who you let into your life and how much access you have and how much you tell them about yourself. Because not everything needs to be done. Not everything needs to be known. Like how much you share with them, how much you divulge to them as a friend. You know, you don't want to all let all the cats out of the bag in like the first, you know, first few meetings with them. Sometimes you meet people, you have a great connection with them in college, and then you or you have a great conversation and then you don't see them again. And so there's those people too, like there's definitely been people I've met and I feel like I had a good connection with them. I feel like we really hit it off and then like we just fall out. You know, I I, I don't know. But every really every relationship needs breath. Every relationship needs um people to you have to maintain it. And so that's that's the hard work. So that's like the friendship side and more so, I want to talk about like a little bit of like the loneliness of college and like how does that fester. So, say you don't meet the friends of your life and say that you're going to college out of state. Say that you're doing a hard degree and you just study all the time. Either which way, or say that you you had friends starting out, these friends didn't catch up with you. There's a lot of ways that you can be lonely in college. There's a lot of ways that your friends can fall out because everybody is on their everybody's on a different path. You can somebody can be on the pre med path. Some people are on the finance path. Some people are on a party and find out find who I am path. Some people are on a I'm trying to find the love of my life path. A lot a lot of people are on different a lot of different paths in college. So you try to find like-minded people, and sometimes you can't. And so that's where, I guess, the loneliness can come in, where you can't find people who are like you, or you people are like you, but you, you, you can't really connect with them on a personal level. Or, like, you don't have deep friendships, because there's very surface-level friendships where you, you're... And I call them acquaintances. I call them acquaintance. Like, if you meet somebody... And say, you, you you guys talk. Like, that's like people on your job. Like, you guys, you talk and you have good conversations. But they're not, like, deep friends. Like, you don't be telling them, like, your most intimate thoughts or anything like that. So those people are acquaintances. But it's hard to find sometimes the deep, deep friendships. So that's, as I said, that's where the loneliness comes in. And so how do you deal with that? First of all, how do you know that you're lonely? That's loneliness is very subjective based on who we're talking about. For some people, loneliness is they ha- so I have not talked to somebody in 24 hours. For others, loneliness is I have not had a friend to talk to this whole semester. For lonely, some people have not had people to talk to them the whole time they've been in college. They have not had any good friends the whole time they've been in college. So loneliness is very different depending on who you're talking to. Like some people, they've fallen out with a good friend of theirs and they just have, like I said, acquaintances. And so then they feel lonely. So there's a lot of ways to feel lonely in college. So... What is that like? Because I want to talk, I want to talk a little deeper about that. What is that like? That is like being by yourself and feeling like you have no one to talk to. You have no sincere connection with other people. Feeling like you're an outsider, feeling like people don't get you, 
feeling all kind of different ways. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like what I would describe the loneliness and college as. Like, you feel like you can't personally connect with anybody. Like, you're around people, but they don't necessarily get you. Like, you're like, okay, like, they kind of get me a little bit, but they don't really understand where I'm coming from as a person. And so you just kind of hang back and you're like, okay, I just hang with myself. But sometimes you get tired of hanging by yourself. And sometimes you get tired of eating lunch by yourself and going to movies by yourself and all of it. So how do you deal with that? One thing I will want to say, loneliness is not all bad because in the time that I've been lonely in college, I have found varying degrees of myself and things that I like to do. Like one positive thing about being lonely in college is that you do you do dig into yourself. You're like, okay, well, what do I want to do today? Where do I want to go? You know, what what do I you know, what makes me happy? And sometimes that, sometimes friendships can take away from that because you're not worried about yourself as much as you're worried about other people. So that's one good thing about not, you know, being kind of lonely. So, so what to do? What you should do is find yourself. Find out what you want to do. Find out what makes you happy. Don't, Use people as a crutch for happiness. And what I mean by that is get into the mind space where if nobody else is is patting me on my back and trying to lift me up, I lift myself up. You know, I love myself. I love the things that make me me. I love me. That's what you should strive for when you're lonely. Be first, be content with yourself and be content with who you are as a person. Second, find after you find out the things that you like, try to be with people, try to form groups that are like minded, that or that have some of the things like things that you hold dear. Try to find uh, groups of people that like to do those things, and you can always find maybe a friend or associate in that. Don't be afraid to reach out. And sometimes that's kind of hard in college because you're always afraid about being judged because there's judgment. Every, everybody's judging each other. No one really knows anybody. And everybody does seem like they're living their own lives. But sometimes you do just have to reach out and try to make a gesture toward friendship. I mean, as scary as that is, and that can be very scary. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Kind of break out of your box. And you know what? Along with doing things that make you happy, find maybe find other people to do those with. Like me, I love books. I love going to the library. Maybe find other people who are like-minded, you know, who, who dig the stuff that you dig. Then go for things like that. But overall, I say to... Find God in your loneliness because God is not, he's not a man that he was going to leave you. He's not going to leave you and he's not going to forsake you. And so that's ultimately what I would say. Find God in your loneliness. Find God in all your hurt, all your pain. Every time people say they want to hang out with you and they don't or... They find something better to do or someone else to hang out with or they're just not feeling you all of a sudden. And, you know, they stop calling you, stop texting you, not checking on you anymore. Find God in your loneliness. Because I would say that he is the ultimate best friend. Like, he's someone you can always talk to, someone you can depend on. And, you know, like I said, he's not going to leave you. So that's all I have for today. And thank you. And this is Daily Bread with Deja. Tune in next time and we'll talk about a new topic, a new subject. All right. Love you. Goodbye.